Recurrent impact might be the last thing on your mind when it comes to crafting, but craft it you should, as this unique stasis power weapon is miles better than you think. Perfect for the end game minded or just the public eventer, remember to please check that you are subscribed to my channel if you do like any of my short 3 minute build videos. Requiring 5 deep sight resonance attunements, it could be a slog to unlock if RNG is piss poor, but by completing the psyops battlegrounds or using your weekly focused weapon engram at helm, you should be able to pick this up fairly quickly if you haven't already. Machine guns are poised to see their time in the sun in year 5's meta, with rapid fire sitting pretty in terms of pure raw DPS. This one will get you over 345,000 total damage per mag in just around 5 seconds, with DPS sitting at 70,000. Now to really make the most out of this, you really want to lean into its stability stat and also damage boosting perks. The stability masterwork frame is my pick and along with arrowhead break which is going to fix up the recoil direction making it more vertical and ultimately more manageable under sustained fire. Extended mag is hands down the best magazine option as it will top you out at a whopping 99 rounds in the mag. This will really help you max out your damage potential with recurrent impact. Now with the next set of perks, there's actually two perfect perk combinations that you can use and to be honest these do both depend on your preferred playstyle when using rapid fire machine guns for end game content. My absolute favourite pick though is going to be field prep along with frenzy. This really is my solo player pick because even though frenzy is a lower 15% damage boost, it is relatively easy to set up and maintain despite its long activation time and is especially useful in solo endgame content like legend or master lost sectors. Remember you don't even need to have the weapon equipped to activate frenzy either, it'll just be ready when you need it. It doesn't just give you a damage boost though, as frenzy will boost your weapon handling and reload speed which in turn stacks with field prep. As well as getting the boosted ammo reserves offered by field prep, it'll max out your ready, store and reload speed when crouched, meaning you can rapidly reload or switch to another weapon to maintain DPS. This makes it excellent for super short burst damage situations, is super easy to set up and makes dealing with champions a piece of cake. You can even go for the enhanced perks on these, which arguably are some of the better enhanced perks available. As for my next recommendation you might want to consider, we'll stick with field prep but we'll also throw firing line into the mix. This is definitely more catered for fire team play as you'll need to be near 2 or more allies to trigger the boosted 20% increase in damage. In my honest opinion it's not as durable as frenzy because it's more of a damage phase perk meaning it'll be useless on champions or whatnot during nightfalls when maybe you're not always near your teammates. Alternatively though, if you want the ultimate in self set up damage perks, the stats for all and one for all combo is a solid shout. Hitting 3 separate targets will trigger both of these perks simultaneously for 10 seconds. With stats for all you're going to get a boost to your handling stability, reload and range, then with one for all you'll get a 35% damage boost on top. The land tank origin trait might not come in handy too often on this machine gun, but if you decide to nuke some yellow bars, the bonus resilience and damage resistance it offers won't go amiss. Machine guns are going to be meta picks very soon in Destiny 2, so craft this one now, level it up at Shiro Chi, take your pick of top tier endgame level perks and be ready to profit straight away when Bungie make the inevitable sandbox changes. If you enjoyed this quick 3 minute weapon crafting build breakdown, then I know for a fact that you'll absolutely love this infinite freezing hunter exotic setup.